Hi, hello and welcome back again to our YouTube channel Excel Bus Software Testing where you will learn in easy simple way. We are learning Zephyr. This is our fifth video and today we will see how to execute the test cases. So let's get started. Let's start our video now. This is your Jira board and today we are learning test execution so there are uh, three four different ways how to execute your test case so i'll share with you all so first of all we'll see we'll go to zephyr squad this design we have completed then in planning we'll be seeing how to execute the test cases afterwards in next video we'll be seeing how to report and some integrations so how to execute your test cases first of all if this is my sample test case update the data so click here execute some execution will window will get open you can execute by two ways execute ad hoc just in previous video i told you like without making any planning just you pick up the test case and you simply execute that you any member can use this ad hoc system and uh, pick up the test case and execute but if you are going through second method which is this add to existing new user a new test cycle and execute then you can assign it to specific jira members your testers or uh, anybody and then you can th that person only can execute the test case so first uh, we'll see by this ad hoc way so choose the version so we will see this by executing in a doc way after clicking on execution with this kind of window will get open so side by side whatever is your test case you perform that test and you come here here if it is unexecuted means you have not yet executed if your test case is pass then you can select here pass if your test case is fail you can select there fail if you are working and it is taking time then you can assign wip also or somehow it is block you are not uh, getting any further if you go down there are steps available so you can perform each and every step and then you can decide it whether it is pass or fail and you can mark it like that so this is actually ideal way to perform the test case perform each and every step then automatically your test will cover so something some message like this will come all the steps are passed so your test case will turn pass automatically if your all test steps are passed automatically your test case will perform uh, automatically your test case will mark it as pass but if anything fails then it will mark your test case as fail you can write down why it is fail uh, or you can comment if any then if you have any attachments any screenshots where the defect is then you, you can attach here and simultaneously you can raise the bug and link this with your fail test case so add defect create defect and then one new create window will get open so if you click on add defect then one new create issue window will get open then here you can choose as a bug and then you can log this defect 
why that test case how that test case got failed and you can create if you create that is automatically linked with your test case was first way how to execute the test case now i'll show you another way let's go to zephyr squad then your test cases go to advanced search here you will see execute same kind of window will get open you can add unscheduled version version v1 test folder regression suppose i want to add this test case in regression folder then execute then it will get added to your regression folder and execution window will get open and same execution window will get open and then the rest rest of the procedure will be same so you can if you are if your test case is already passed you know it then you can simply execute unexecuted you can change it as pass or fail or if you know your test case is fail or you then you can simply fail from here and then you can create new issue or you can link if issue is already present you can link from here or you can create new issue same e create issue window will get open then you then you can attach screenshots or any document if you want to use to uh, link with defect then you can attach it from here rest of the process will be the same so there is one more way to execute the test cases let's go to zephyr squad then test summary in cycle summary then in cycle summary we have created test cycles and version according to their versions and uh, folders according to their types of test cases so uh, you can simply do that you can open this folder whatever test cases you have to execute just pick up the folder and execute all the test cases here i have opened smoke test case folder so let's see there are two test cases available in my smoke test case folder so click here in action you will see this e capital e just click on there and then same execution window will get open and uh, you can execute the test case and change the status as pass or fail now you have executed few test cases and you are not able to remember which test cases you have executed and which are left so let's see how you can check out that so let's go to zephyr squad then search test execution this tab will give you all the test summary which test cases are executed which are passed which are fail so from here directly which are, which whichever test cases are not executed you from here only you can check out that and whichever test cases so this search test executions tab will give you all the test summary which test cases are executed which are pass which are fail everything so whichever test cases are left behind you can simply directly go click on this action e and directly execute this test case from here itself same execution window will get open same execution window will get open here and you can execute your test case
there are filters also you can check out my executed test my fail executions my unexecuted test and you will you will get direct list whichever test cases are fall under that filter so so like this if you click on unexecuted all unexecuted test cases will come these are few ways how you will execute test cases in zephyr how you will mark them as pass or fail or any other and uh, this is it for today hope you like this video if you like this video please hit the like button and subscribe to our channel if you haven't yet we post videos on every tuesday and friday if you have any queries or any suggestions please comment down to us so until then happy testing bye bye